friends, welcome to the Plaid X2 channel. My name is John. On this channel, we talk all things physical media, movies, music, and books. So if you're into that kind of thing, go ahead and subscribe uh, down below for more of that kind of content. Well, friends, this is a, uh, a video, an update from last year when I did a video on my entire Criterion collection. I've added quite a few titles to my collection this past year. I added a few more during the sale. And uh, even during this past month, I picked up a number of titles uh, via Facebook Marketplace. And so anyway, I picked up quite a few Criterions over the last 12 months, so I thought I'd do an update on my uh, entire collection. So we're just gonna go uh, by spine number. I hope you are picking up the titles you are interested in during this Barnes & Noble sale, which goes to the end of this month. So if you're not, uh, it's time to get uh, to a Barnes & Noble nearest you or uh, head over to Amazon as they are doing a lot of price matching. So anyway, friends, this is my uh, entire Criterion collection. So coming in at number two, I actually picked this one up. This is from 1954. I picked this one up via Facebook Marketplace for a dollar, and it is Seven Samurai. Uh, comes with a booklet in there as well. So Seven Samurai, this is spine number three from 1938. It's an Alfred Hitchcock film. It is The Lady Vanishes. This one I just picked up at a library sale. It's spine number 11 from 1957. This was a dollar as well, uh, the seventh seal. Spine number 84 from 1959, good morning. This I also picked up at uh, the local library sale and this one was a whopping $2. It is spine number 86, uh, 87 and 88. And it is a, a, a box set that is out of print that I did pick up for $2. Uh, Alexander Nevesky and Ivan the Terrible Parts 1 and 2. Next, uh, spine number 103. This is, where is the date on this one? This is an older release of theirs uh, from 1941. And it is The Lady Eve. Spine number 116 from 1958, The Hidden Fortress. This is the one I picked up just recently from 1941. It is spine number 118, Sullivan's Travels. I've been really looking forward to owning that one and being able to watch it. Uh, this is the second box set I picked up from that library sale. And this was also $2, also out of print. Spine number 124, 25, 26, 27, and 28. It is the Carl Theodore Dreyer box set, Day of Wrath, Ordit, and Gertrude. So really excited to add these to the collection. These, I'm not positive if they'll stay in the collection. I am gonna check them out, and it's a possible I will trade those, use those for trade, uh, but we'll see. Uh, next, spine number 139 from 1957, it is Wild Strawberries. This is another one from the library sale uh, for a dollar, spine number 140, and this one is from 1963, and it is eight and a half. Really excited to get to finally see that one. Uh, this one I absolutely love, spine number 163 from 1980. It is Hopscotch starring Walter Matthau. It's a really, really great film. Let's grab some more here, and I'm hoping these all don't fall over. Spine number 173 from 1943, The Life and Death of Colonel Blimp. It's a really, really great film. Highly recommend that one. This is a French film, spine number 174 from 1964, and it is Band of Outsiders. This is one I picked up just a few months ago from 1946. It also has another film in there from 1964, spine 176 and it is The Killers. Uh, the next one is a phenomenal film I've mentioned on the channel before, number 201 from 1952, and it is Umberto D. Really, really beautiful film, highly recommend that one. Spine number 217 from 1953, and it is Tokyo Story. Uh, this is one that is mentioned on channels all over the place during the Criterion sales, especially from 1952, Spine 221, and it is Akiru. Um, if you haven't picked this one up, when I first started collecting Criterions, I was highly recommended that I should pick this one up, and I did, and I certainly don't uh, regret that. It was a great decision and a, a great recommendation. Uh, this is one I just picked up, and I picked this up via Facebook Marketplace, so there's a handful, six titles uh, that I'll show you, and I got them each for $1.67, which is a great deal. Spine number 274 from 1950. It is Night and the City. Great artwork there. 
This is, again, one of my favorites in the collection. This is from th number 306 from 1967, and it is Le Samurai. Really, really, just a, a cool film. I highly recommend you check this one out. I found this one on DVD at a Goodwill for $2, watched it, and then immediately upgraded because it's such a phenomenal film. This is spine number 331 from 1949, and it is late spring. Another amazing film, spine number 374 from 1948. It is Bicycle Thieves. If you've never seen this one, I highly, highly recommend it. It's outstanding. Uh, it is in Italian with subtitles. Definitely worth adding to your collection. Uh, this is another one I picked up for $1.67, $1.68, and it is uh, number, spine number 380. Uh, from 1948 and it is Naked City. Uh, the next one, uh, I believe the packaging is out of print. I believe it's a different packaging now. And I picked this one up last summer f and for about $2 uh, via Facebook Marketplace. And it is from 1951's by number 396 and that is Ace in the Hole. Billy Wilder film. Right, keep moving. Uh, this next one is also one I just recently picked up for $1.68. It is spine number 409 from 1978, and it is Days of Heaven. I've never seen this film. I'm looking forward to watching that one. Uh, this next is one of my is one of my all-time favorites in the Criterion Collection. I recommend it constantly. Uh, from 1937, spine number 505, it is Make Way for Tomorrow. A beautiful, beautiful, powerful film. I, I can't recommend this one highly enough. Definitely check it out, add it to your collection. This one, again, just picked up for $1.68, spine number 516 from 1939, and it is Stagecoach. A film that a friend, uh, Tim, Tim Talks Talkies, sent me this year, and he had recommended this to me so many times. He sent it my way, I watched it, and it was unbelievable. He, it, it was everything he said it was going to be. This is spine number 541 from 1955, and it is The Night of the Hunter. I can't recommend this one highly enough. It is so, so good. Thank you again, Tim. Um, I am a giant Chaplin fan, so I've obviously picked up everything uh, Chaplin in the Criteria collection, Criterion Collection. This is spine number 543 uh, from 1936, and it is Modern Times. I recommend everything that Criterion has released uh, out of Chaplin's filmography. Chaplin uh, was a genius. Highly recommend it all. Spine number 565 from 1940. It is The Great Dictator. Again, it's a Chaplin film. Again, I recommend it. This one is spine number 591 from 1957. Uh, this is a legendary film. Also, you'll hear about this constantly in recommendation videos. Uh, this is 12 Angry Men. Can't recommend this one highly enough. This next film also picked up uh, for $1.68. Really excited for this one. I've been wanting to see this for a long time. From 1933, spine number 592, and it is an Ernst Lubitsch film. So I really enjoy him as a director. And it is designed for living. Looking forward to watching that one. Next, another legendary film in the collection, 1959, spine number 600. It is Anatomy of a Murder, Jimmy Stewart. Another uh, Chaplin film from 1942. Uh, it has a 1925 edition and a 1942 uh, re-edit, and it is spine number 615, The Gold Rush. Great, great film. This is another one from the $1.68 uh, recent haul from 1973, $6.51, one I've not seen yet, and it is Badlands. Looking forward to that. So this next one is spine number 652 from 1947, and it is Monsieur Verdu, uh, another Chaplin film. Again, definitely check them out. Next one is spine number 657 from 1957. This is a phenomenal film. Uh, 310 to Yuma. Um, most likely you've seen uh, the remake with Russell Crowe, Christian Bale, which is also a great film, but check this one out. So, so good. Night, this is uh, spine number 670 from 1942, and this is another Ernst Lubitsch film, and it is To Be or Not To Be. I recommend this one. I go with some more. This is spine number 680 from 1931, and it is City Lights. This is uh, one of my top two Chaplin films all time. I uh, love, love, love that one. This one is, um, I picked this one up last summer for $2. 1940 Hitchcock film, uh, 696, and it is Foreign Correspondent. Another one I picked up last summer for $2, 1948, spine number 709. 
uh, Howard Hawks film starring John Wayne, Montgomery Clift, Red River. 1946 by number 732, and it is my darling Clementine. Really great film. This is one I picked up. These next two I picked up in this most recent Barnes & Noble sale. Uh, 1934, spy number 736. It happened one night. Uh, Claudette Colbert and uh, Clark Gable. I'm a huge Claudette Colbert fan, so this was a uh, high on my priority list of pick pickups, as is the next one, spy number 742 uh, from 1942, and it is The Palm Beach Story with Joel McRae and Claudette Colbert. Love the artwork on that one. We've got one and a half more stacks to go, friends. This is spy number 756 from 1952. Another Chaplin film, it is Limelight. Great artwork again. Criterion crushes it on the artwork. Uh, this is the third film that I picked up in this most recent sale from 1946. Spy number 795, and it is Gilda with Rita Hayworth. Uh, this has been on my wish list for a very long time. It just keeps getting bumped by other films that I'm just a little more interested in at the time. Finally picked this one up and uh, glad to have in the collection. Uh, this is uh, the one, two, my favorite all-time uh, Chaplin films. This is from 1921. Again, there was a re-edit in, re in 1972, spine number 799. It is The Kid. If you want to start, uh, if you're unsure where to start with Chaplin, I recommend The Kid or City Lights, both phenomenal films, great starting places. This one is spy number 806 from 1939, starring one of my all-time favorites, two of my all-time favorites, uh, Gene Arthur and Cary Grant in Only Angels Have Wings. It's a Howard Hawks film. Recommend that one highly. Uh, this one stars one of my all-time favorites. This is from 1950, spy 810. Uh, Humphrey Bogart in A Lonely Place. Really, really great film. Definitely pick this one up. And this was from last summer for $2 from 1950, spy number 847, and it is The Asphalt jungle all right we are now into the last pile of films so this is spine number 849 this was sent to me a year or so ago by mr nichols uh, and it, we have the uh, 1940 uh, film and also there is the front page in here from 1931 his girl friday starring carrie grant it's a howard hawks film so once again thank you mr nichols glad so glad to have that in the collection this is from 1942, spine number 867, Woman of the Year, Catherine Hepburn, Spencer Tracy, Legends. This is from 1940, spine 901, The Philadelphia Story, starring three legends. Uh, you got Cary Grant, Jimmy Stewart, Catherine Hepburn. This was from last summer for $2 from 1937, uh, spine number 917, it is The Awful Truth. Again, starring Cary Grant. This is a highly recommended film. This one was sent to me by my friend Stephanie a while back from 1961. Uh, spine number 945, and it is A Raisin in the Sun with uh, Sidney Poitier. Really beautiful, powerful film. Um, I, again, I just can't recommend this one highly enough. Definitely check this one out, and definitely I want to say thank you to Stephanie again. Uh, this is one that it just took me forever to see this one and then uh, when I finally saw it I was like, why have I waited so long to see this film it was so good from 1959 spine number 950 uh, Billy Wilder film uh, Jack Lemmon <clears throat> Tony Curtis and uh, Marilyn Monroe and it is some like it hot definitely uh, pick this one up really really fun film this one was sent to me by my friend Arthur. We did a trade, and he found this at the Dollar Tree of all places. 1942, Spine 952 on Blu-ray, uh, Orson Welles, The Magnificent Ambersons. I still can't believe he found multiple copies of this at a Dollar Tree. Uh, this is one of my all-time favorites. It is from 1957, Spine number 970, A Face in the Crowd, starring Andy Griffith, like you have never seen him before. Highly recommend this one. So, so good. Uh, this one also sent to me by my friend Stephanie from 1938, spine number 986. It is The Baker's Wife. Really, really uh, interesting story. It is a French film, so you do have to watch in subtitles, but um, really great. I recommend this one. All right, this is Spine 996 from 1928. There was a re-edit in 1969. Again, Chaplin in the Circus. Really recommend this one. Anything Chaplin is... Is brilliant. Uh, this is one I picked up uh, in this uh, most recent sale. 
and uh, I've been waiting on this one for a while, just haven't picked it up. Glad I finally did. It was outstanding. It is another Ernst Lubitsch film, 1946, by number 997, and it's Clooney Brown. A really just kind of fun, silly story, but definitely worth checking out. This is one that I got for free. A friend found it uh, in a pallet that he had purchased, and he said, uh, are you interested in this DVD? I said, friend, it is not a DVD, it is a Blu-ray, and it is Criterion, and I am absolutely interested in this. And this is from 1950, uh, Spine 1003, uh, starring uh, the legend Betty Davis, all about Eve. Really excited to have this in the collection. Next one I uh, received this past year, I think for Christmas, from my family, 1938, uh, spy number 1009, starring legends Catherine Hepburn and Cary Grant, and it is Holiday. This is one I picked up uh, quite some time ago. Uh, this is spine number, uh, uh, sorry, it is from the year 1964, spine number 1011, and it is Failsafe. I have seen it. Very, very uh, fun film. Recommend that one. This is from 1939, spy number 1024, uh, Marlena Dietrich and James Stewart, Destry Rides Again. This is super fun. Highly recommend this one. I picked it up for Stewart, but Dietrich was just, she was outstanding. Uh, killed it in this role. So I highly recommend that one if you've been sleeping on it. Uh, this is one that I've seen many, many times. I've got to see this on the Blu-ray edition that I have here, but I've also got to see this, um, see this performed live, the music performed live to it, and it's so good. 1928, uh, 1033, starring Buster Keaton, and it is The Cameraman. Again, this would be a great film if you're looking to get uh, into silent films. Uh, Criterion released this one, and it's outstanding. I recommend that one. And four more friends. Uh, this stars one of my all-time favorites, 1937, Spine 1072, History is Made, at Night with Gene Arthur. Definitely recommend that. This is from 1938, spine number 1085, Bringing Up Baby with Katherine Hepburn and Cary Grant. Killer artwork on this edition. Then uh, from 1941, uh, spine number 1099, starring Humphrey Bogart, High Sierra. And the very last one I have in my collection, the sent to me by my good friend Stephanie this year from 1990. You may have noticed I don't have many Criterion films that are in color. They're almost all in black and white, which I'm a huge fan of. And if you've been on the channel any length of time, you already know that. From 1990, this is Spine uh, 1112, and it is Joel and Ethan Cohen film. It is Miller's Crossing. And uh, I'd never seen it until my friend Stephanie sent it my way. And it is so good. I love this. So Stephanie, thank you uh, once again. Friends, that is my Criterion collection. Uh, it's not a massive collection, but for me, uh, it has grown uh, quite a bit over the last two years. And thankful uh, to be able to have those in the collection. And be able to have found quite a few of them uh, for very bargain prices uh, on Facebook Marketplace and library sales and gifts from friends. Uh, so anyway, let me know in the comments below, uh, what are some films that you would recommend that I add to my collection that I'm missing? Um, there are so many in the collection. Uh, I have a list of, I think, seven that I want to pick up next. They're kind of high priority for me. So maybe in the next sale, I'll pick a few of those up. Anyway, let me know in the comments below, what are some of your favorites? What are some ones that you uh, recommend I add to my collection? Uh, thanks so much for checking out this video. As always, really do appreciate it. I uh, hope you're doing well, friends. Please do take care of yourself. We'll see you next time.